Wait here, please. Thank you. Who day to you, man? Good morning, Santiago. I brings you a visitor. Gentlemen's come in from Mexico City on the airplane. I bring him up here. I'll go down there. Holland? Yes. My name is Hector Lomelin. George Hidalgo may have spoken to you about oh, me. Oh, yes. How are you? How's George? He's dead. How's George's daughter and widow doing? You knew them? Nobody talks about them a lot. They're doing as well as can be expected. I just don't understand. George was a journalist. He had no business getting mixed up with someone like a doctor. He always counted on you on getting the job done. He felt he had no other choice. Now I'm here for myself and for others, hoping to convince you to do it. Hector, you don't seem like the kind of man that would commission somebody's death. I'm not. The doctor stands outside the moral laws of civilized people. George died trying to stop that man. How much will it cost? Ah, uh, Hector. Like I told George, I'm retired. Look. You can't withdraw from the world, Holland. You know, in my clinic, I have patients from all over the world. They have recorded their experiences with the doctor on tapes. I brought some with me. Will you look at them at least? Sure. I was arrested with my sister and her husband. They said we had been giving guns to the rebels, but it was a lie. We had done nothing. My sister was pregnant, and they beat her many times on the belly. One day they took her away. I never saw her again, but I was told her body was found in the street. When she was cut open, her husband's head was found inside her. My wife and children were taken from me. The doctor forced my wife to eat her own excrement. My children's bones were broken. They said it would continue until I confessed crimes against the government, but I invented things to save my family, and they said I was lying. They made me watch while my friend was stripped naked and made to stand against a wooden table. Two men held him while the doctor drove nails through his testicles. He fainted many times from the pain. And each time they threw water on him, to revive him. My husband was made to watch while I was raped with a bottle, and then the doctor killed him in front of me, very slowly by cutting him open and pulling out his intestines. The doctor forced me to eat ground glass. It hurt my inside so bad that I cannot have solid food even now. My skin was burned with acid and needles were pushed under my fingernails. The doctor forced me to drink my own urine. All my hair was taken off and the doctor burned my scalp with cigarettes. 
At the time of the coup, I was arrested and taken to the national stadium. I can never forget the man in the hood, the man they called the doctor. It was he who selected those to be tortured, those to be shot. All day and all night, you could hear the gunfire and the screams. They injected me with a drug every day. It gave me headaches so bad, I felt my skull was being split open. And I had terrible cramps all over my body. The doctor. Many weeks, I never was able to see the doctor. The doctor. The doctor. Every one of them. Clement Lollard, the man they called the doctor. Will you do it? Until I passed out from the pain. And then they broke. Like I said, I'm retired. 